special education here um, at Youngstown International School, basically helping out students in lots of different stuff, mainly math, and I mainly work in the middle school, um, just helping them with uh, the learning process. Um, I also coach um, both middle school and high school soccer. I grew up in Indonesia and then moved to the United States, to Pennsylvania, lived there for um, three and a half years, moved to Nepal, lived in Nepal for about four years, and then moved back to Pennsylvania, lived there, and I went to school there. My dream as a child, I wanted to be a marine biologist, actually. Having grown up in Indonesia, I was all about, like, sea life, you know, like dolphins and fish and all that stuff. Um, so, that changed, though. Let's see, when I was a little older, I got into art a lot, and so I wanted to be an architect. I actually wanted to be that in college, um, and then I switched um, to being a teacher, because I knew that would be the easiest way to get back overseas. It would, it would give me a chance to really help out kids who went through what I went through. I guess I first developed a passion for coaching. Mr. Creech actually offered in the summer if I would join him um, to be part of the soccer team and coaching the team and I was really excited and I'd never done it before. Uh, I really enjoyed it right away. I actually got involved in middle school sports with coaching their soccer team. Uh, just, I don't know, it was, there was a lot of success that we had. Um, I got to be part of just some really good teams. We won middle school all-star, we won kayak tournament. Um, high school and so it's just, I don't know, it's pretty easy to get pretty passionate when you're doing so well. I guess as far as who's influenced me, I don't know if there's been like a coaching, I guess my dad helped coach my soccer team once when I was little. I would say Mr. Creech too, uh, he's, he's been a big help with that. Um, then as far as stuff that's kept me from attaining that or problems I've had is, um, I guess with um, my parents, I don't really think there was too much. Um, they always seemed to encourage me. Um, sometimes they would be real with me, in which I thought I was awesome, and they're like, um, you might might be thinking too highly of yourself. Um, so they would put me in my place with that. I would say then with how I got it together was, um, I think with your parents, it's kind of, you kind of get to the age where you realize, you know what, they might actually be right. And so, uh, one of those situations, upper end of high school is where I really kind of got my act together. But I would say just as far as being successful in general, in school. Um, it was more upwards of high school and then into college. Um, um, I would say the hardest part about coaching, you know what, is not knowing how to push athletes. Um, this, Oftentimes they get really emotional and get really into it, and then they go overboard. They cross the line, or some of them aren't passionate enough and don't really try that hard and have less effort. So it's always tough to balance that as a coach. I don't think I've, I'm have i a successful coach. I think I have a long ways to go before I can really call that success. I think consistency would be more important in what's measured as a good coach. Um, so, so yeah, I'm just trying to help out um, in any way the school needs me, and coaching is one fun way, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's been fun, and I look forward to uh, continuing on. Hopefully we can do pretty well this season. Let's see.